Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name is Mora Lizzie. You can as well call me Ijele. So, guys, this is another episode of Reunion Matters. But uh, in today's uh, video, I am not going to analyze it here. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I will just go through whatever that happened yesterday night. So, yesterday night was lit. <laughs> A lot of plain energies. But it was funny to watch. But... Uh, in this video, it's not a therapy section. It's just to say literally what happened last night. So, in last night's episode, it started with Watoni and the Tochi facing off each other. Watoni said that uh, she wasn't into Kid Wire at the beginning, that it was all Cruz, and that she found him to be a player at some point and uh, a community guy like moving from one person to another so tochi cut in and uh, took it from there and told her that she should be addressed as a community girl as well if she would like it if she is addressed the way she is addressing another person and that it was shown everywhere in the house that she was desperately looking for who to hook up with while she was in the house and that caused a serious fight or let me say verbal altercation between two of them. Tochi told her to relax that after all, nobody dated you in the house. If you were that hot as you claimed, it was not a good side, but it is what it is. It is part of the drama that we signed up for. Then Kaisha caught in and also reminded Kidwire of how he promised many people that he would do a lot of things for them and never fulfilled it. That he also claimed that his father is this, his father is that, and that his father is the person that discovered Banana Island. And uh, he always talked about private jet while in the house. So for me, blame it on Pisces. Kidwai is a Piscean, and as a Piscean, a lot of them most times promise people a lot of things out of compassion and kindness, but they normally forget. Uh, Piscean's have a forgetful memory most times. They always forget something. So if they have promised you anything, please kindly remind them because they are absolutely good people. Then the next episode is was Nengi and Kidwire drama in the toilet. I've made a video about it before and you saw that all my predictions were all right. Nengi and Kidwire played a game of I can't remember yesterday. A script of I can't remember. So because they were claiming that they can't remember, the clip of the toilet issue was played as well, as in the private moments. It was shown as Kidwire, you know, two of them tried to, Kidwire tried to unzip and close. Then Kidwire and Nengi, you know, there was some funny and intense moments though, but when Ozo and Nyo entered, they, uh, you know, they disengaged and Nengi ran to pee in the toilet and came out as well. So, from what I saw yesterday, it was not just a financial attraction. There is a sexual attraction as well. And um, and the funny thing is that both of them understand each other. If you followed yesterday so closely, both of them understand each other. They defended each other. They exonerated each other. And, uh, you know, all through, this place, like, they, they are literally behaving as if they have known themselves for ages or, like, they, they they discussed about it before they come, but they didn't. Katrina attacked Nengi. When Katrina attacked Nengi, of, uh, uh, and the, the way Kidwire came to her defense, it's just a natural compatibility there. They are naturally compatible, and they're naturally into each other, or attracted, or being friends. There is something that, you know, binds them, that we can't explain on the it ordinary eye. Yeah. And um, the way when Ozo barged into her with Kidwire in the toilet and Neo, the way Nengi tried to convince Ozo by repeatedly hugging him, hugging him, and Nengi that never allowed Ozo to hug her in the house. Like I said it yesterday, Capricorns will they hate public display of affection, they will pretend as if they don't like to hug or kiss or that one, but in the private, they will be all there for their lover. See the way she was hugging Ozo repeatedly, trying to convince him that there was nothing, uh, you know, going on between them. You know, those scenes, although those scenes in of that toilet, you know, although nothing serious happened, but like I said in my video, 
it was it was still an intense moment and this is how you know soulmates it was still an intense moment when you see them those two did a great job from for, in my from my own part yesterday both of them behave maturely and don't have to you know wash each other's dirty linen outside or start confronting each other but at least it dropped my point home that uh, you know they have something for each other and the, what i want to say again is that the friendship is taking up again from there they have issues at the tail end of them of the uh, show that they don't talk and they became distant but i am predicting and telling you guys again that the friendship is taking up from after the reunion again because both of them had each other's back without even talking and that each other's back they had will join them back and will rejuvenate their friendship and their loyalty and their trust for each other. So, um, kid Rika shippers, be prayerful. Ozone shippers, be prayerful because what I see, you cannot see. So, the, there is a, a serious level of attraction between the both of them and uh, to the extent that they got each other's back without talk. So the next drama was between Kaisha and Neo. We saw Kaisha lamenting and whining that a man told you that he could have gone for you instead of V if V didn't come earlier since one year and you are still whining. <laughs> Though I don't blame her, she's a northern girl and you know how they can be. But like from, from my own perspective, she takes everything way too serious. I, Kaisha takes everything serious. But I don't blame her. It was her uh, zodiac sign. She was born on the 24th of February, making her a Pisces personality. Pisces personality are very detailed people. They don't forget any single detail. If you tell them you love them, please keep to your word because they are hanging on to it. Or if not, they will continue to whine and, and you know, Continue to whine that you broke their heart. Because I don't know why after a year, Neo, it was obvious Neo lied. He was flirting with her. But to, from my own perspective, why would I hang on to something that happened a year ago when I obviously saw him, see him dating another person? I would just move on like nothing happened and go and date another person as well. So, Pisces personalities or water signs in general, they take love and emotional matters very seriously. And it's getting annoying at this point. Because if you see all the girls whining in the house, Katrina, Dorothy, um, uh, Kaisha, uh, all of them, they are water signs. Erica, it's like they came to the whole big brother for men. I can't see anything serious from their own angle. It's all about they snatched this person, they took this person and all that. But in all, it was obvious that Neil lied. If uh, he flirted with her, that's the truth. And for Pisicians, they, uh, remember, they remember every single detail. I think these guys in this uh, lockdowns enjoy going from one woman to another. Or will I say if they are playing the game? Probably, but... They have a way of enjoying going from one woman to another. And for the ladies, they are so gullible. They behave just in a gullible way, like they, not, they don't think. This person will come and tell you this. This person, you will hang on to it like your life depends on it. I don't know. I wonder if there was a desperate need for everyone to be booed up in the house. Because it's a kind of funny to me that since the reunion started, it's only men and women matter we are, or love matter we are treating. I am yet to see a guy and a guy having issues so that we can treat it from the men's perspective. But every issue every day is how you, were in, you told me you love me or how you told me you want to dance for me and go to my back to tell another person. It's becoming annoying at this part. But I don't know why... Till now, in this 21st century, women or ladies are still fighting over men like their life depends on it. I mean, this is 21st century and we should be moving as the century moves. We should not always, you know, hold on to everything men. It's good to be in love and all that, but when you see that it's not working and the energy is not the same, please move on. So, this is it for today. Until I come next time. Um, I'm still your host, Nora Lizzie. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. And you are welcome to my channel if this is your first view. Hit the subscription uh, button so that you will get every update that I have to put up. 
So until I come next time, I love you all and keep um, stay tuned for the next episode of the reunion. Thank you and bye.